Hello and welcome to this session on Jenkins beginner tutorial and today we are going to see how can we run a Jenkins job from command line. So we are going to go very basic step by step and we will learn how can we run a Jenkins job from command line, how can we run a job with authentication with a particular username and password and we will also see how can we show the progress or results of the job on the command line. So let's get started and let us go to our Jenkins. So I have already started my Jenkins on port 9191 and also I have created a very simple sample job. So this is the job which I have named sample job 1 and this is a very simple job that just prints out automation step by step. So in the build step I am using execute windows batch command. So if I run this job from here, so I will say build now and let me go to the console output and you can see it prints out automation step by step. So very simple job. Now what I have to do is I have to run it from command line. So for that you can go to your Jenkins and go to manage Jenkins and inside manage Jenkins you will find an option for Jenkins CLI. Also you can go to your browser address and after your port number you can say CLI and hit enter and it will take you to this Jenkins CLI window. So this is the CLI for Jenkins and using the CLI you can run all these operations and these are all the commands that you can use in CLI and before we use it you have to download the Jenkins CLI jar. So this is here just click here and this will download the Jenkins CLI jar. Let me go to the location and I will take it from here and I will paste it inside my Jenkins folder where my Jenkins war file is. So I will paste it here and now I will go back to my Jenkins console and here you can see these are all the available commands and we are in this session interested in building a job. So if you click on build you will see it will give you the exact command that you can run and it also takes the same port number on which you have started your Jenkins so it is giving me the exact command and it also gives me some options that I can use with this command. So let us first see how can we run the job from command line. So before you do that also one thing that you should take care is go to your Jenkins and go to manage Jenkins and go to configure global security and here you have a section for authorization. So for now what I will do is I will say anyone can do anything and in the later part of this video I will also show you how can you run the job with some particular authentication. So as of now I will say anyone can do anything and say apply and save and now coming back here I have to run this command which is java hyphen jar jenkins cli jar minus s and the url of your jenkins build and the job name. So before I do that I will have to go to command line. So let me go to my command line and here first I will go to the location where my jenkins cli jar file is. So I will copy this address and on the command line I will cd to this particular location and now I will copy this from my Jenkins CLI window. I'm just going to copy everything and go back to my command line and say I will paste it here and in place of job I have to give my job name. This is the one sample job one. So I will give this name sample job one and hit enter. And you can see it has actually ran the job. If you go to the if you go to the job on the UI and you will see the second run has been created here. Again, if I run it again, you will see there will be a third run here. So if I go back here and refresh it, you can see the third run is here. Now, if you have to see the results as well on the command line, so you can see that as well and you can go back to the Jenkins CLI and here you can see there are several options here. So we have a minus F flag for following the build progress. 
so if I run this job with the minus F flag I will say minus F at the end and now it shows me the started message the completed message and if I want to also see the output so you can use minus V prints out the console output of the build and it has to be used with minus S option so let us do that so so I will say minus S minus V and you can see it gives us all the options and it also prints out the result on the console so we expected this so this is how you can run your job from command line and now let me tell you how exactly you can run when you have authentication so we are going back to to configure global security and now if I say here logged in users can do anything and I am switching off anyone can do anything and only the logged user can do anything and I also have to make this allow anonymous seed access as checked and apply and save now if I go back and let me clear the screen and if I try to run the job you can see anonymous is missing the job build permission so now not anyone can run the job only the authenticated users can run so for that what you have to do is you have to give the username and password so you will say minus minus username and your Jenkins username in my case it is admin and then minus minus password in my case it is again admin and then hit enter and now you can see it is able to run the job so this is how we can run a job from the Jenkins command line. I hope this session was useful for you. If you like the session, please hit the like button and share it with others. And if you have not yet subscribed to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. I will meet you in the next episode. Thank you for watching.